today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. I don't actually think I've ever done one of these videos before. I could be wrong, I bet I've done like 10 of them. I obviously don't wear makeup every day. I wish I was one of those people that like has to do a full face every day. That like I'm just so lazy. I just don't want to do that. Okay, so I always start with moisturising my face. I have quite um, dry skin, so I always need to do that. Also, my skin's not very good right now. Um, basically, I ran out of my face wash, the Lush one that I said I used. And it's just, it's going to cost me like £14 to get it shipped. I'm like, I've been spending so much money recently. I spent so much money on this camera. So I was like, right, Julie, you cannot afford that. So I just ordered a different one, but I actually got the wrong one. Um, so I'm worried that it's making my skin break out a bit, but just ignore that. So I'm going to start with concealer. I use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, I think it's called. It's literally so old, how disgusting. I use the shade Extra Fair because that's like the only one that matches my skin. Honestly, I still think it's probably a bit too dark. I was for a while using a foundation underneath my eyes. Like, I don't wear foundation um, normally, like, unless I'm going on a night out. But I was putting it just under my eyes as concealer because this gets quite cakey, I feel as though. But then the foundation started to get really cakey too. So I don't know what I'm doing, like I don't know if I need to use like a primer or something underneath my eyes. I'm not sure. But this is what I'm going to be using. Then I'm also going to put it on this huge spot that I've got on my chin. Which I'm not happy about. And then I just take my beauty blender and do that. I mean it's like really covering up the spots. Once that's all blended in, I'm going to be setting that. So I use this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in transparent literally like my skin and I only put it on the places that I have the concealer also I'm trying not to like tuck my hair back because it looks as though I'm bald because my skin just blends in with the bleach okay now onto my eyebrows so I have really thick and dark eyebrows naturally as you can tell um so I probably don't really need to do anything to them but I find that if I leave them natural, they just look really messy the whole day. So I always take my, honestly, I have no idea what this is called, this thing. I actually think I've had this for like four years. It's disgusting. It says throw out in six months. Oops. But it still has a lot left, so I'm still going to use it. So I just like lightly fill in the ends where my eyebrows are a bit more sparse they really um need plucked right now to be honest but i wanted to do like a transformation kind of video soon um so i was just gonna wait until i do that i sometimes fill in the front of it by mm, am i gonna do that today yeah okay i literally just do like a line there and then kind of brush it up but then i always have to like blend it with my finger a bit because it just looks a bit too much. I filmed a get to know me tag the other day, literally like three times. And then ugh, I just deleted all the footage because I was like, people just are not gonna be interested in this. Um, so I'm trying to think of like a way to do that without me just sitting and answering questions. Maybe I could just include it in this video. Mm, I feel as though I should have thought about that before. So how's everyone doing in lockdown? We are on, I don't even know what week it- oh, Tesco van. I've literally lost track of the dates, I have no idea what day it is right now. But I think we're almost at two months of lockdown. Um, so, I feel like I'm kind of going insane, but also, it's just what we need to do. I've actually been getting quite annoyed recently, because some people that I follow on Instagram have not been abiding by the rules, and it's really, really annoying me. Like. Don't be selfish, okay? I haven't seen my family in like two months, like literally almost two months, I have not seen my family because I obviously chose to do lockdown with Danny. So I haven't seen my family. So people just need to stop being so selfish um, because everyone is missing people. Like I've seen people meeting up with their like boyfriends and their girlfriends and I'm like, I understand you miss them. And I know that like I can't really talk because obviously I am quarantining with Danny so like I'm with him all the time and I know that I would be really missing him if I wasn't doing it 
but I miss my family and I haven't seen them. But come on, it's gonna be over sooner if you just stay inside. It's really, really annoying me. I need to stop talking about it or else I'm gonna get angry. So now I use the Color Lash Clear Mascara as eyebrow gel to keep them in place. Um, honestly, this isn't that great. I used to use the Benefit, um, I don't know what it's called, but the brow gel and it was really good. Um, but that's really expensive, so I can't afford that right now. This doesn't really keep my eyebrows in place that well, but I do have really thick eyebrow hairs. You know one time I actually tried to get my eyebrows waxed and like halfway through the woman was like, I can't do this, I'm gonna need to thread them because my eyebrow hair was so thick that she couldn't actually pull it out. Now I take this eyeliner, this is, it doesn't have a label, what? I have literally no idea what this is, but it's just a black eyeliner like that. I need to actually get a waterproof one of these, but basically I line my tight line. I hardly ever show this on camera because I actually kind of like possessed when I do it. Basically I do that because when I curl my lashes and they like sit up you can see like the tight line and it just I don't think it really looks that good so I always line that bit. Now I'm gonna go on to my eyes so basically this is the only thing that really varies. Sometimes I don't do any eyeshadow, sometimes I do a bit more, sometimes I just do like eyeliner but I always use the modern renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills or I use the Naked Heat palette by Urban Decay but I don't have that with me. But today I think, hmm, I think I might just do a bit of eyeliner. I usually use this dark brown eyeshadow as a bit of eyeliner. I never did this before but I've been doing it recently and I've been really liking how it looks. Oh I just completely messed it up. I find when I do gel eyeliner, like black gel eyeliner without a full face of makeup on that it just kind of looks a bit weird and it like can smudge and stuff so I just do this, oh my god I'm so warm. Right now, because obviously there's not really that much to do, I've been really trying to focus on my Instagram a bit. So I've been really trying to work on like a nice theme for my Instagram. I've been putting a lot of effort into it, actually causing me quite a lot of stress, not gonna lie. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, then I think you should, because it looks quite nice right now, I think. Okay, that's what my eyeliner looks like. Look what I just found. I kind of want one but I've been trying to be healthy today. I've been so unhealthy recently. Do you remember in my first lockdown video, like Danny and I went on a run and I was like, oh my God, we're gonna do this. Why have I got scratches on my neck? That looks weird. I was like, we're gonna do this every day for the whole three weeks. Cause obviously at this point we thought we were only gonna be in lockdown for three weeks. We were very wrong. And I honestly don't remember the last time I went on a run. I wish I had some motivation, like I've seen so many people on Instagram being like, yeah I've been running every day for like two weeks, like a 5k and all this and I'm like, oh, I wish that was me, I just can't do it. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes, um, I do this every day, like I feel as though my mascara just looks kind of weird if I don't curl my eyelashes. But yeah, I've not been very healthy. I was doing some home workouts, like Danny and I would just make up like our own ones and use weights and stuff like that and we were doing that for quite a while but I just haven't done it in a while I've just got no motivation all I want to do is like sit in bed all day and eat the mascara I'm using is the collection Lash Lash Surge god that's hard to say this is literally like four pounds and pretty sure and it's really really good I used to buy the Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara and that one's good too but it's like eight pounds so it's a bit more I try and focus like on the outer bit of my eye because I have quite like round eyes so I like when they're a bit more elongated if that's the word. Apparently our uni is going to be like online next year for like first semester at least. Honestly I don't mind that that much like I hated going to seminars and having to like talk in front of people but if they're on like video I feel as though that's even more awkward maybe. I don't want to talk too much about everything going on because it feels though it can trigger some people so I've been trying not to talk about it at all really in my videos. Okay the other eye did not look very good but oh, why does this always happen when I try and film? 
For my bottom eyelashes, I use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang, like mini thing. I just use it because it's a small brush. It doesn't, I actually don't even think there's anything left in that, to be honest. Now, the last thing I do is I put on a bit of highlight. So, this is my favourite one. It's also so old. Like, all my stuff literally looks so disgusting. It's probably all, like, out of date. But this is the Fenty highlight in Hustle Baby. And I love this, except it's almost run out and I, like, can't find it anywhere. Don't know why they're not selling it. Rihanna, please sell this again because it's the best highlight ever. So I just put that on my cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose. And then I usually put on like lip balm or something. But this is my whole everyday makeup. Like I don't really wear that much unless sometimes I do a bit more in my eyes. But this is kind of what I generally do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was um, interesting, I know it's not that crazy, but actually someone did request this and I don't get video requests a lot, so I thought I would do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.